All right, in front of us we have a Fisher Wizard controller, a pneumatic controller uh, used for pressure control. Uh, this demonstration we're going to be performing a Ziegler Nichols closed loop tune. So right now I have the controller set up. It's biased at about 50%. You can see the output pressure gauge is at about 16 psi, and the valve that we're working with um, is set up for a range of about 6 to 30 psi. It's got the heavy spring, and it's set up for um, it's bench set for a range of 6 to 30 psi. So the way this control trainer is set up, we have instrument air flowing into this regular regulator right here that's set for about 60 psi. The instrument air then flows into this Fisher, I believe it's a D, D3, D4 control valve. And the controller is outputting to this control valve to open it. And then it senses, the controller senses pressure downstream. So it's going to open this control valve to increase the pressure downstream. And then we are holding a back pressure right here with this gate valve and then the instrument air is then discharged out this diffuser right here. So, the air flows from here out to the diffuser. The controller modulates this valve to control this downstream pressure. So right now you can see I have the controller. It's controlling at 30 psi. This here is our set point. This here is our process variable. And this here is our controller output. Right here we have a proportional band adjustment. Uh, and proportional band is to calculate, to convert from our uh, gain value, proportional gain, we have to take 100% and divide it by proportional band, and that will give us our gain value. So when we're doing our Ziegler Nichols tune, we need to take that into consideration. Also down here we have our uh, reset valve for setting up integral in this controller. So right now you'll see I have the integral shut off, this is closed, and we're biased at somewhere around about 50%. So this is trapping pressure in our uh, reset bellows, then making our controller proportional only. So we need to have our controller set up for proportional only to do a Ziegler Nichols tune. Uh, with the Ziegler Nichols tune, we adjust the gain, the proportional band in this case, and then make a bump. So we're just going to be doing a set point adjustment, and then we sh we're going to try to get the controller into sustained oscillation. So I've already been playing around with this and I know the proportional band of about 5% right at the end of our scale here will put us into sustained oscillation. So now if I bump the set point, uh, we did not get sustained oscillation so we'll try to increase that just a little bit more, just a little bit past 5%. See another bump. So it looks like we're in sustained oscillation at a proportional band of about 5%. So I've already recorded that on the board over here, our calculation, to figure out our. Um, figure out our proportional gain, which is 100% divided by proportional band, 5% giving us an ultimate gain of 20. Now it also times how long this oscillation takes. So the oscillation from here to here again takes about two and a half seconds. And that's a complete oscillation. So each time the process variable approaches 40, each time it approaches 40, we start our stopwatch and then stop it, and that should give us a time of about two and a half seconds. So I've also recorded that here on the board, two and a half seconds for our period of oscillation. Those are the two variables that we need to complete our Ziegler Nichols closed loop tune. So to calculate the proportional gain that we're going to enter into our controller, the Ziegler Nichols, the Ziegler -Nichols table says we take 0.45 and multiply it by the ultimate gain. So I'm just going to take our controller out of oscillation. We don't need to listen to that. Okay, so this is for doing a uh, proportional plus integral tune. So 
0.45 times the ultimate gain gives us a value of 9. We then need to convert it back to proportional band because that's what we're going to input into our controller. So we take 100% divided by Kp, our proportional gain, to give us a value of 11. So we're going to enter 11% in for our proportional band. To figure out our um, reset setting, we take our period of oscillation and divide by 1.2. So 2.5 seconds divided by 1.2 to give us 2.1 seconds per repeat. Now if you look, our controller over here is has a setting of minutes per repeat. So we need to convert that from seconds per repeat to minutes per repeat. So back over here on the board, we do that. 2.1 seconds per repeat divided by 60 seconds per minute gives us 0 0.035 minutes per repeat. And that's what we will put into our controller. Both 11 11% that should say, and 0 0.035 minutes for repeat. So let's go ahead and enter that into our controller. So we'll set up our proportional band. We're about 11. It's kind of, just want to make sure we're above 10. And our minutes for repeat, we're going to put somewhere close to 0 0.035. So we'll open our valve. And this here is our indicator, 0 0.035, we'll say, oh, it's somewhere here in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.025, so right about there should be good. And now we are going to bump our control loop to see how it responds. We should see um, something that looks like quarter amplitude decay response. So there, that looks pretty close to quarter amplitude decay. And now we're right back at our set point after we bump, bump the process.